time to value is the key in product led growth. At least I've done it twice um, to success. It's it's like you want to give you want to give your you want to basically you don't want to like have everything free. Like like the biggest mistake folks make is like oh like we just need freemium, we just need free, we just need whatever. Like oftentimes you don't need that because a lot of crap comes in your funnel and it's really tough to figure out who the right people are. So you have to understand who your ideal customer profile is first before anything, right? And then understand how they find your product. And that's not hard. You ask those people, how did you find my product, right? Like, like obviously developers are different than sales folks, right? And different than healthcare professionals or different than doctors. Like people are going to discover these stuff differently. It could be at conferences. It could be in, you know, in Stack Overflow or Reddit or Hacker News. So you have to figure out like where they are going and you have to, you have to meet them, not when they're in like learning about your product mode, like that can be where they come in and there's the awareness kind of funnel, but they have to be when they've either decided that they're going to use you as the product because you've done good enough, you've done a good enough job in that discovery journey, or they're evaluating alternatives in the space that they need. And you're just there to meet them. Like those are the two best signs of it. And so you have to kind of meet them there and then you have to give them value as quickly as you can. And, and a lot of companies do what are called reverse trials where they'll just like give the whole product away for a period of time or until you hit a certain function that builds value. And I think in my experience, that's the best way to go. Like show them the full suite of what you can do with some restrictions. And then once they've got that value, then you have the ability to convert them to paid. And that's like a funnel. It's like, it's like awareness, like activation, like you obviously retention, revenue, referral. Um, and the other important thing at the end of that is make it so that if you're doing this product led, it's normally a bottoms up strategy. In other words, you're selling to day-to-day -day users to get up to a buyer. You want to make sure that that has some sort of spread and viral coefficient across the company, right? So in other words, if you're selling to like a team, like Slack's time to value is like, I think it was like three people that have sent X number of messages for a period of time, right? Slack's no good if you just log in as one person and you like send a message yourself, right? Like that, that, that doesn't, that, that means they've shared, no, showed no value, right? So like think about in your product, like what is that time to value and like how, how within that product experience to, is there a certain number of people that will actually share that thing? And so there's a lot of different examples I can give, but like that's the best way to, to think about product-led. It's not as complex as people tend to put it out there. You don't need to have a degree in product-led growth or an MBA or anything like that. You just need to understand the journey of your ideal customer profile as they're discovering your products and meet them when they're literally ready to buy or try.